got a good one for you today. So today I'm going to bring out the High Standard Double Nine. We did an inspirational gun segment on this one, and I really, really like this one. It's very special and very dear to me, uh, and it's actually a very good shooter. Check it out with me. So the High Standard Double Nine is a 22 long rifle, and it looks very closely to a Colt Single Action Army knockoff. It's got the plastic bone grips, but they're still very nice to look at and good in the hand. And it's a double single, so and I can't dry fire it, but obviously you can do it in single action. And pull this just a little bit. It's got a super heavy double action on there. Now it's a little bit unusual with the swing out gate. Now you can pull this forward or it's got this right here. You push it forward and the gate will swing out. Kind of odd. I don't know why they did that, but okay. And it's got the raised sights on there front fixed sight and uh, drift adjustable rear sight and it's a pretty straight shooter let's give it a couple shots at 15 yards now it's a cinch to load it up so you push this lever forward and it'll kick the gate out and it's a nine shot it's not a regular six shooter and in 22 long rifle it does the job just fine I don't know if you could find a nine shot speed loader for this <laughs> let me know if you find one but that'd be kind of neat and there's nine. So let's take a couple shots at 15 yards with this thing. So I'll start off using the single action like usual and then I'll do the double action. We'll see how we do with it. Starting off my favorite single action. Click. Let's see how we did. And there's that long nine shot succession. Favoring high and left. Maybe that shooter error, I don't know. But that's how she did. Unloading the thing's a heck of a lot easier than loading it. So it's just in reverse order, just like every other SA knockoff push it out and then you got the cylinder punch here kicks out the shells very nicely let's load it back up and we'll do the double action I gotta say nine shots in a revolver is a hell of a lot of shots but whatever it's something to carry around and it's a lot of fun Click. And the double action, that's a hell of a uh, heavy trigger pull on there. It shoots pretty fast, just like any other double action would. But usually with a heavier trigger pull on there, the accuracy is going to suffer. Let's see how we did. All right. There, there, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven accounted for. I don't know where the other ones went, but it definitely opened up quite a bit. All right, I just set up a whole crap load of targets down there, and just for fun, we're gonna shoot them. Now, where this thing really shines is, it's the capacity, obviously. The accuracy is marginal, okay, that's fine. It's a 22 shooter, something you stick on your hip and you roam around the woods with. Maybe a defense gun, what I used it for, you know, when I was a kid and stuff. But either way, you got more than enough ammunition in this thing to uh, to handle any kind of issues that you have. Whether it's a coyote coming at you or you got a uh, sassy pop can down there with a bullet waiting for it. Anyway, let's have fun with this thing. It's a darn fun shooter though. So I'm aiming a little bit uh, low and to the right and it's hitting high and left. So it's hitting where it should be. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh no, what happened here? <laughs> Even after all these years, the high standard double nine does not disappoint. It's still such a fun little gun and uh, just an absolutely great plinker to take out with you. Whether you're a full grown adult and, or you're going to give it to your kid or something for them to romp around in the woods with. I highly recommend that you get one for yourself. It's just such a fun gun. I wouldn't pass it up. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our friends over there, Workaday Custom Gun Leather, custom made to order. And also make sure to like, subscribe, and share with your buddies so they can check it out. And make sure to holler out in the comments if you want to see anything else, uh, whether it's another one of our inspirational guns or some other thing that I might be able to come across. You never know. Until next time.